following program is sponsored by CBN. Well, welcome to the 700 Club. Day one of the Senate impeachment trial is complete. The prosecution and defense battled over trial rules for more than 12 hours. Late into the night, tempers flared, and Chief Justice Roberts gave a stern rebuke. Capitol Hill correspondent Abigail Robertson reports on the contentious kickoff. A tense day on Capitol Hill. Lord, as our senators prepare to gather for today's impeachment trial, we declare that you alone are our hope. As the Senate gaveled in, the Senate will convene as a court of impeachment. A lengthy battle ensued over the trial rules laid out by Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell. It sets up a structure that is fair, even-handed, and tracks closely with past precedents. Democrats came out the gate demanding votes on a series of amendments to the rules. A trial without evidence is not a trial. It's a cover-up. Senators are only permitted to drink water or milk on the Senate floor as they listen to the prosecution. The oath requires you to do impartial justice, which means to see the evidence. To see the evidence. That's all we're asking. Just don't blind yourself to the evidence. And the defense. Are we here because of a phone call? Or are we here before this great body? Because since the president was sworn into office, there was a desire to see him removed. This morning, the president weighing in from Davos, Switzerland on Tuesday's events. I got to watch glimpses of what is taking place, wasting time in Washington. We're doing very well. I got to watch enough. I thought our team did a very good job. But honestly, we have all the material. They don't have the material. While lawmakers vote along party lines for now, three GOP senators are open to demands to hear from witnesses later in the trial. I think it's important to uh, hear from John Bolton and perhaps other witnesses. As the arguments went late into the night, a clash over witnesses bringing a rebuke from Chief Justice John Roberts. President Trump does not want you to hear from Ambassador Bolton. And the reason has nothing to do with executive privilege or this other nonsense. The only one who should be embarrassed Mr. Nadler, is you. I think it is appropriate at this point for me to admonish uh, both the House managers and the President's counsel in equal terms uh, to remember that they are addressing the world's greatest deliberative body. Trial rules allow each side 24 hours to present their case over three days. House managers will begin their prosecution when proceedings pick back up today as the Senate jury sits silently and listens. Reporting from Capitol Hill, Abigail Robertson, CBN News. If you want to watch the coverage gavel to gavel, we've got it on the CBN News app. You can watch it live. All the deliberations, we're going to be streaming it live every day of the trial. Uh, so there on the bottom of the screen, you can see all the different devices where you can download it. You can also download it directly to your smart TV, uh, to any one of the platforms on, on tablets or phones. You can watch this on the CBN News app. Uh, it's history in the making. Well, in other news, a deadly coronavirus has been spreading rapidly in China, and now the United States has recorded its first case. John Jessup has more on that story from our CBN News Bureau in Washington. John? Gordon, the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention confirms the viral infection of a Washington state man who returned from China's Wuhan province last week. The patient is said to be doing well, but being kept in isolation at a hospital near Seattle. National health authorities are stepping up surveillance at five U.S. airports to detect others possibly carrying the virus into the country. So far, at least nine people overseas have died from coronavirus, which can be spread by human contact. It's infected more than 400 people 
in China. The Supreme Court will not take up a case that threatens to dismantle the Affordable Care Act, more commonly known as Obamacare. The decision means the justices refused to fast-track the case when asked to weigh in on the law's constitutionality. In December, a federal appeals court struck down the individual mandate requiring Americans to pur purchase insurance and sent the case back down to a federal judge in Texas who previously threw out the law to review how much of it can remain intact. Obamacare advocates hoped to put the issue front and center in the upcoming presidential election. We'll be back with more of the 700 Club right after this. The Bradleys were in really big trouble, $50,000 of debt worth of trouble, but they didn't beat themselves up about it for long. The Bradleys knew exactly how to fix their problem, and here's what they did. Omar Bradley ran his own electrical business, and to make a few extra dollars for retirement, he and his wife Nancy opened a small retail shop. But sales were slim, and bills piled up. The more we spent trying to get an inventory and trying to get people in, the more we had to use our credit cards. We were in debt, $50,000 at least. We knew that we were in really big trouble. Instead of saving for retirement, the Bradleys were bleeding money. The couple decided to close up shop, but their immense debt remained. With no other options, Omar and Nancy cried out to God for help. God, give us wisdom, give us guidance, give us direction. We were way in over our heads. For most of their marriage, the Bradleys had tithed off their incomes. But when their shop struggled, they cut back their giving. Now, the couple knew they needed to start tithing again. When we stopped giving, then it was harder, harder to make things balance. But by the grace of God, we did not beat ourselves up for long. You know, we became focused again. The beginning of giving and tithing, uh, again, that's a fresh start. Shortly after they made their fresh start and began to tithe again, Omar started seeing more work at his electrical business. Omar's business increased 50%. Tithing and giving opens the door to blessing. We were amazed at how the 90% went further than the 100%, really, and we had less problem uh, meeting all of our obligations. Within a few years, the Bradleys were able to pay off their debts. God has gotten us back on track, and we are so grateful to Him. Around this same time, Omar and Nancy became CBN partners. I like to see where my little bit that I give is helping spread the gospel to the world and healing to the sick. To see the smile on the kids' faces, to see that the adults relieved their child had that operation, that their child was able to go to a school. It's an amazing thing. CBN is blessed because CBN blesses people. The Bradleys believe that giving has changed their lives. Because of their decision to tithe, they're looking forward to retirement and they're spreading love around the world. Don't quit tithing. Always have the attitude of what a privilege it is to give because if you love something, you're going to give to it. We love CBN. We love giving. Here's a promise from Psalm 91, and it's for everyone who's obedient to the Lord, all the righteous. Here's the promise. He will call on me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. And Omar and Nancy walked that out. They were in trouble, but they knew how to get out. Let's honor the Lord with our giving. He in turn will deliver us and he will honor us. He watches over his word to perform it. He will do it for you. Well, Sandy and Trish Toomer spent years on the mission field. Today, they're back home and they've started a second career. Still, Sandy and Trish say their, their focus is the same. They're using their business as a way to serve others. Early in their marriage, coffee company owners Sandy and Trish Toomer weren't concerned about saving money. They just wanted to enjoy it. I had a good job. She had a good job. You know, went to Mexico. We did different things. We spent everything we made, and there was nothing to show for it. But this lifestyle left both of them feeling lost and empty until finally. God got hold of me, and I said, I've really messed up, and I repented that day. I was smoking. I was drinking. The Holy Spirit said, you need to make a choice. 
I got down off the bed, and that's where I got saved. That's where I prayed to receive was that night. From then on, the couple dedicated their lives and their finances to the Lord. It wasn't until the Lord got us both right with Him that we jumped into tithing. We started doing the 10% thing just immediately. We weren't rich, but we always had what we needed for what we needed to do. So when we had opportunities to give extra, we would give it. A few years later, God opened the door for Sandy to attend Moody Bible College's School of Missionary Aviation to become a pilot, his lifelong dream. Financially, it would be a leap of faith. And I said, well, this is God's plan. Then he'll take care of that. While confident in God's faithfulness to provide, the couple grew concerned about the mounting bills. The worries came when, you know, it was five cents in our bank account and $900 worth of bills on the table. And I'm going like, what are we gonna do? And he says, well, let's just pray about it, Trish. You know, and he prayed. And then afterwards, I said, go get the mail. And there was that $900 check the whole day sitting in the mailbox. And there was a note that says, God told us last week you were going to need this. And it was from a group of women at uh, the church I grew up in, actually in West Virginia. And they had already decided to give it to us and put it in the mail way before we knew we needed it. Eventually, Sandy earned his wings. So that's how God works. Yeah, you know, He knows what we need tomorrow. We just have to stand firm and trust. The couple spent nearly a decade in South America as Sandy flew hundreds of missions into remote areas. In 2004, they retired from the missions field and discovered God's plan for their next adventure, a coffee shop. It was a struggle the first few years. I knew the Lord would take care of us, but working a small business like that is a, it's a walk of faith. Sandy and Trish continued giving and their business grew. Eventually, they began roasting their own coffee and selling it wholesale. Our business has been growing since 2013. We started tracking in it. It's been growing about 30 to 40 percent a year, year over year. As their business continues to thrive, Sandy and Trish remain committed to giving. With our business, we look at it as a giving kind of a machine. That's the focus of our business, is, believe it or not, is not to sell coffee, is to generate a tithe that will go out to missionaries. Just our whole life is richer in different ways. And I believe it stems from having that heart to give. There is no better blessing than to be a, a giver. And it's like after you take that step of faith, God's not going to let you fall. It's not His character. He's going to just swoop right under you and lift you up. Sandy and Trish have learned the secret and they know that God will come in and swoop them up. Why? Because they've made God their business partner. They're in business to give. And when you have that attitude in life, that here's what I'm going to do, I'm going to be generous. Uh, I'm, going to, I'm, I'm going to earn money so that I can give it away. When you have that attitude, God comes in and says, okay, I'm your business partner. Uh, is it a 10% uh, share you're giving to God? Is it a 15% share? Is it 20% share? For Sandy and Trish, they want to give. And when you give, this principle comes true for you. These are the words of Jesus. You find them in Luke chapter 6. Give and it will be given to you. A good measure, pressed down, shaken together, and running over, will be poured into your lap. For with the measure you use, it will be measured back to you. So Sandy and Trish, they formed a business. They said, well, the whole purpose for us being in business is to give. And when you have that, well, then God's your business partner. And they see 30% increases year over year. That's a phenomenal success story. What a wonderful thing to know that God's in business with you. Now, I've got some great news. Some CBM partners from West Virginia and Virginia are joining together to challenge you. They will match your giving dollar for dollar, $98,000. And let's pray. Lord, we ask for blessing over this. We ask for blessing for the partners who made it possible to issue this challenge. And we ask a blessing for those who are watching right now. Open their eyes, Lord God. Open their ears and give them a heart of understanding that they may know the greatness of your power. Do it, Lord, for we ask it all in Jesus' name. Amen. 
98,000 is the challenge amount. What are we asking you to do? Well, we're asking you to join the 700 Club. How much is that? Well, it's just $20 a month. That breaks out to 65 cents a day. Some can join 700 Club Gold, $40 a month, 1,000 Club, $1,000 a year, $84 a month. At whatever level, call us now, 1-800-700-7000, or go to cbn.com slash give. Terry? Well, I'm excited to tell you that when you join the 700 Club, we have a gift for you. Our way of saying thank you is to send you Pat Robertson's latest book. It's called 10 Laws for Success, Keys to Win in Work, Family, and Finance. And here's what actor Kevin Sorbo has to say about it. Hi, I'm Kevin Sorbo. And I want to tell you about a phenomenal book that I just read, 10 Laws for Success by Pat Robertson. See, I firmly believe it can transform your life and the, the lives of those that you care about. In this book, Pat shares the supernatural secrets he's discovered and shows you the way to a rich and fulfilling life. In the book, 10 Laws for Success, Pat shares biblical life principles that can put you on a path to purpose, fulfillment, and achievement. Call 1-800-700-7000 or go to CBN.com to receive your own copy today. 10 Laws for Success. This dynamic book is a must read for anyone who wants to achieve their goals, build a solid financial foundation, and grow in their relationship with God. I highly recommend that you get your own copy of Pat Robertson's latest book, 10 Laws for Success. God bless you. These are biblical principles outlined in the Word of God, and they're all put together here in 10 Laws for Success. We want you to have it. So call now, join the 700 Club at any level, and we'll send your copy right out to you. Gordon? As newlywed school teachers, Shane and Heather Kelly worked hard. They also played hard, spending all the money they earned and then some. Soon the couple was barely making it from paycheck to paycheck, and before long, they were carrying $20,000 in credit card debt. Shane and Heather Kelly never argued about money. When they married, they had the same motto, spend all the money you earn. I think I was feeling entitled because I never had anything growing up. You know what I mean? We always struggled growing up. So once I seen a little bit of money coming in, like, yeah, I'm going to spend it. We felt like we were at that time in our life where we were working and we deserved it. Shane and Heather had steady incomes as teachers. But it wasn't long before they were using credit cards to spend money they didn't have. Foolish spending, going out to eat a lot, um, buying new clothes, new shoes, felt like, you know, we have that money, we have cards, we're good. We were, we accumulated some debt. You know, we're living, I believe, uh, out of our means. Before long, the couple had $20,000 in credit card debt and were having a hard time paying their monthly bills. We were struggling pretty good living from check to check, and we can't even afford to get back and forth to work. During this difficult time, the 700 Club caught Heather's attention. So I sat down and I was so enthralled, I recorded it, and I just kept watching. As Heather learned more about the work of CBN, she wanted to become part of it. And so I prayed and I said, God, you know how I feel about giving my money away. I feel like this is the real deal. And so I wrote a check for $45 and I asked God, you know, bless this, let me know that this is the right thing. When Shane heard that Heather had written a check to CBN, he did not share her enthusiasm. Now they were in conflict over money. I was like, well, what do you mean? What's this tithing? Why are you going to give? I was angry at the time for sure. And I, I just could not understand why she was wanting to give money when we didn't have money to give. What happened next shocked both Shane and Heather. And the very next day, she received a check for $45, the same exact amount that she went and sent in. So I was like, you know, this is amazing. It blew my mind. Still, Shane wasn't convinced to tithe on a regular basis. She was wanting to tithe and give money that I didn't think we had. He said, well, that's fine. If that's what you want to do, then take it out of your part of your money. So Heather began to tithe faithfully on her salary. Six months later, both Shane and Heather received raises at work. So Heather increased her giving, and during this time, the couple began to pray and study the Bible together. In uh, Malachi, he was talking about Jesus, uh, God was just test me and watch the floodgates open up. And in Exodus, you know, give your first fruits. Well, that's when I started to really kind of understand about this tithing process. And that's when we became as one and became, you know, together as one tithers. So it was joyful for me to see him come on board and see how God's worked in his life. A few months later, Jane was offered a higher paying job in another school district, a job he had been seeking for three years. 
when I started to give, you know, and become a cheerful giver, that's when, you know, things started changing in my life. And it's just wild the timing was how God works. I look forward to giving now just because I, I just see how our money's working through the 700 Club. You know, we see the kids with cleft palettes. We see the homes that have been torn apart and they're rebuilding and, and with the helping the home front. That's when I was like, man, I want to give to this. Today, the Kellys have had several pay increases in the last few years. They're almost debt free and now they're saving for the future. I promise you, God is faithful on this. If you just test Him and try Him, like the Bible says, and, and see what He does for you and how the floodgates open. I just would encourage people to tithe and, you know, take that leap of faith and see how God can work in your life and in your family's life. Take the leap of faith, test Him, try Him in this, but as you do it, remember a very important principle. It's your attitude in giving. It's how generous are you going to be? And here's the principle from the Apostle Paul. It's in 2 Corinthians. Remember this, a farmer who plants only a few seeds will get a small crop, but the one who plants generously will get a generous crop. You must each make up your own mind as to how much you should give, for God loves the person who gives cheerfully, and God will generously provide all you need then you will always have everything you need and plenty left over to share with others. For Shane and Heather, they learned that. They're now generous, cheerful givers. And when you do it that way, that's when tremendous blessings come. We've got a $98,000 challenge and we get the red number up. 87 is left to go with 35 minutes and 25 seconds on the clock. Call us, be a part of it. 1-800-700-7000. Let's go to Wendy at the phones. Wendy? Thanks, Gordon. Well, it's a brand new year, and we want you to make this your best year yet. Pat Robertson's latest book is called The Ten Laws for Success, and it's filled with the winning secrets that you need for your home, work, and life. These laws can bring blessing beyond comprehension. Now available, Pat Robertson's latest book, 10 Laws for Success. And I believe these laws can transform the nation, transform organizations, transform you and your family. Call 1-800-700-7000 or go to CBN.com to receive your own copy today. 10 Laws for Success, fundamental principles of growth for all situations and for all people people, no matter what your station in life. End confusion. Find answers. Reach your goals. Ten laws for success. Keys to win in work, family, and finance. Get Pat Robertson's latest book, Ten Laws for Success, and start winning today. Call 1-800-700-7000 or go to CBN.com. Available now. Ten, 10 laws for success. This is what uh, we want you to have right now because you know what? God loves you. He wants to bless you and he wants you to win. He wants you to give the secrets that govern the success of every person on the planet and that includes you. Well, I want you to have it because this book is amazing. It will change your life. How do you get it? You just go to your phones right now and say, yes, I want to join the 700 Club. And by the way, that's just 65 cents a day. $20 a month is all it takes to become a CBM partner and to help so many hurting people all over the world. We're in the middle of a $98,000 challenge right now. 33 minutes left on the clock. Every dollar that you pledge right now will be doubled, will be matched dollar for dollar, so your gift will go twice as far. And remember, you cannot outgive God. It's time to put your faith into action. It's time to get off the fence and say, you know what? I'm going to do something. I'm going to make a difference. And you know, you cannot outgive God. Terry? Well, Mr. and Mrs. Hayes' daughter was called all sorts of names. They saw strangers constantly finger pointing and whispering. That's because their daughter, Uran, was born with a cleft lip and they couldn't afford to get her surgery. Mr. Hay couldn't wait for the birth of his second child, but he was shocked when his daughter was born. She had two slits in her upper lip and she kind of looked like a rabbit. Yu Ran was born with a cleft lip and palate. People stare at her a lot. I was afraid she would be treated like an alien. So Mr. Hay stayed in the city to raise money for surgery, while Mrs. Hay moved Yu Ran to a small village, hoping people would be more accepting. Everywhere we went, 
people still pointed fingers. They said Yuran was ugly, like a monster. It wasn't fair to treat a little baby like that. I didn't want Yuran to live in the shadows. I wanted her to have a sunny childhood. But Yuran couldn't even communicate, and she was always sick. The cleft lip and palate kept her from pronouncing things clearly. She wouldn't even be able to go to school. Bacteria got into her throat. She got infections that destroyed her immune system. Once she was so sick she couldn't move, the thought of her dying haunted me. As Yuran got older, Mrs. Hay asked her deceased mother for help. I prayed, Mom, if you can see her difficulties from another world, please give her good health. But Yuran kept getting sick. Then Mrs. Hay heard about someone else she could pray to. A man on TV said, Jesus loves everyone. Bring your problems to him. So I said to my husband, let's pray to Jesus. Shortly after they prayed, CBN visited the Hayes. I think it's a miracle. God heard my prayer. CBN said someone at the local health office told them about my daughter, and they arranged an operation for her. Today, Yu Ren's smile is beautiful. She looks lovely now. Our neighbors even nicknamed her Little Fairy. When I saw my daughter's mouth fixed up, I thought of Jesus. He is the true God, so I decided to believe and follow him. Thank you to the CBN donors. You give Yuan a wonderful future. And thank you to Jesus for always loving us. You gave this little girl a wonderful future. You also fixed her life for now, for today. She is loved, accepted, blessed in every way, as are her parents. We want to say thank you, 700 Club members. You're making that kind of a difference in people's lives every single day. Listen, join the 700 Club. Those of you who have not, lots of club levels for you to join at. General membership is $20 a month. That's 65 cents a day. But you could join 700 Club Gold. If you're already a Club Gold member, go up to the 1,000 Club if you can. $84 a month, or there's our 2500 Club, $209 a month, or become a founder, $417 a month. Do something today to make a difference. Our numbers toll free couldn't be easier. 1 800 700 7000. Call now. Gordon? Erica is a single mom who works two jobs, and she also homeschools her young son. There have been times when she had to choose between going to work and putting food on the table. Well, that's no longer the case. Because of help Erica got from Operation Blessing. Erica and her son Jeremiah love spending time being active together. I work at a gym and I teach gymnastics and so I guess it was kind of natural that he picked it up. He actually started competing last year and so far so good. <laughs> Erica decided to homeschool her son so he could keep his education centered on God. My mom loves me a lot and I love my mom a lot. I like being homeschooled because my mom can teach me. Everything he learns pretty much comes from God's Word. We're at church many times a week and there's never a complaint from Jeremiah about going to church. He's always excited and ready to go. I do love Jesus and I love Him because He loves me and He died on the cross for my sins. It's a real blessing to know that the Lord is working in his heart and in his life. She works long hours to provide for her son. I'm a single mom. I have to work two jobs to make ends meet. I work for Chesapeake Parks and Recreation. I teach preschool classes, and then I also work for Hurricane Gymnastics, where I'm a gymnastics coach. Finances are very tight. It definitely is a struggle. Erica said her faith in God sustains her. There's been many, many nights after Jeremiah goes to bed, I'm just in my room on my knees. I take that opportunity to spend time with God and to give my burdens to Him. When the bills have piled up, she's made some tough choices. Many times I've had to say, okay, either we're gonna eat today or we're gonna have gas to get to work today. And usually when it comes down to it, I have to choose gas because if I don't go to work, then there is no other income coming in. It's hard when you realize food in the cabinet's kind of running out and there's no money in the bank account to buy more food to replace it. 
When a friend at church told Erica about Operation Blessing Partner, House of Blessing, she knew God had answered her prayers. I've been helped greatly to know that my son doesn't have to go hungry. To sit down and share my story with somebody who cares and then for them to pray with me. I not only leave with my trunk full of groceries, I leave with my spirit renewed and my heart full of love. Having that prayer support and being able to put food on the table has lifted a heavy burden. I just want to thank everybody who gives and sacrifices what they have to give to Operation Blessing so that not just my family, but so many families can be helped and blessed by this ministry. Not only are you helping to feed our families, but you're feeding our spirits. You're helping people experience God's love firsthand. Thank you for giving to Operation Blessing and blessing my family. If you're a member of the 700 Club, that thank you goes to you. Because of you, we're able to do all of these things around the world. And one of our key ministries is, are these food pantries where trucks from Operation Blessing are delivering millions of pounds of food every single month. You can be a part of that when you join the 700 Club because a portion of every gift goes into the work of Operation Blessing. To help people around the world, but especially to help people right here at home, so many families have more month than money and we want to be there for them to show them, yes, we can make a difference for you. Uh, we can make sure that your family has enough food. If you want to be a part of that, give us a call, 1-800-700-7000. Say, yes, I want to join the 700 Club. Now, when you call, make sure you ask for Pledge Express. That's electronic monthly giving. The bank is doing all the work and we can send as our gift to you. Power for Life monthly teasing CDs. You can ask for it when you call or you can go to cbn.com slash give. When you give monthly on the internet, you automatically sign up for Pledge Express. We also have something new for you. CBN has a tax stability. Text CBN to 71777 and that will lead you to a donation page. Uh, either way, do it now. 1-800-700-7000. Let's go to Wendy at the phones. Wendy? Yeah, I've been on the phones, Gordon. I just talked to the sweetest lady, Victoria, from near beautiful Asheville, North Carolina. And she is a first time giver, $20 a month. Thank you so much, Victoria. Also talked to Kathy in Florida. She and her 88-year-old mom are both giving $20 a month and they wanna make a difference for the kingdom. So ladies, thank you so much. It was a pleasure talking to you. Well, let me ask you, if you wanna build a home, a factory, or the next wonder of the world, you'll need to start with a blueprint, right? And if you wanna build a life filled with unprecedented success, you're gonna need this, Pat Robertson's latest book. Your life needs a direction, a blueprint for success. In his book, 10 Laws for Success, Pat Robertson draws from a wellspring of wisdom acquired from a life rooted in God's Word. Discover how to bring your family economic success, build unity to achieve your goals, and grow in perseverance to reap its rewards. Get Pat Robertson's latest book, 10 Laws for Success, and start winning today. If you're looking for a self-help book to start the brand new year, don't look any further than this, 10 Laws for Success, Keys to Achieve Your Goals and Find Fulfillment in 2020. We want you to have this because I'm telling you, I've read it, it's amazing, my husband's read it. We want you to have it because it will change your life. How do you get it? Go to your phones right now and say, yes, I wanna join the 700 Club. The number is 1-800-700-7000 or you can log on to cbn.com. Our beautiful, colorful counselors are waiting right now to take your call and to pray with you. And they want you to have it too because this will change your life. Gordon? All right, CBN programming can be seen in many countries. We've also done disaster and humanitarian relief around the globe. For Joyce Mack, her favorite part of this ministry is our prayer team because we were there to take her calls at all hours of the night. Retired VA nurse Joyce Mack has been an avid viewer of the 700 Club since the 1970s when she'd tune in to hear Pat Robertson's insights. It kind of taught me how to, to read the Bible, what I was to look for in the Bible. He always went into detail about what it meant or, or what a word would mean. Joyce also followed the 700 Club for another, more personal reason. She often called the 24-hour prayer center to pray for her husband, Otto, a veteran of two wars who was battling PTSD and alcoholism. I would just wake up and 
be upset. They're the only people I know I can call at three o'clock in the morning. During some of their hardest moments, talking with the CBN prayer team gave Joyce hope. We would pray about autos drinking. We'd pray about being patient. We'd pray that uh, God would answer the prayer. I usually slept better. <laughs> yeah. Those prayers were answered when a friend led Otto to accept Christ. He immediately stopped drinking, and he and Joyce had a fresh start in their marriage. He was able to love more. Every day we read the Bible together. Every day Otto insisted on that. Grateful for how CBN had helped her, Joyce decided to become a CBN partner. They have this passion to have everybody know about Christ. I always feel this when they go on there and really preach your need for Jesus. And I, I like that. Otto passed away in 1991, but Joyce still supports CBN. And she's grateful that the 700 Club continues to help people like her around the globe. Whether it's just to touch or to cry with them, or just whisper that God loves you, they're spreading the gospel. I think that is the most wonderful thing in the world. And that's what we do. We're the Christian Broadcasting Network. We want to preach Christ. We want to preach Him in every language, every tongue, for every nation. And you enable us to do that. You enable the gospel to go around the world. And we're doing it all in your name when you're a member of the 700 Club. If you're not a member, call us and join 1-800-700-7000. If you're already a member, consider increasing. Consider going to 700 Club Gold, $40 a month. There's also a thousand club. That's a thousand a year that breaks out to $84 a month at whatever level call us now 1-800-700-7000 Terry well remember Hurricane Michael who doesn't it was the strongest storm to hit the United States in decades and the home of retired vet Garth Sinclair was directly in its path how would he rebuild and how would he pay for it well thankfully Garth didn't have to worry about those questions for long well over a year after Hurricane Michael pounded the Florida Gulf Coast, victims are still trying to recover. Among them are retired Navy Master Chief Garth Sinclair and his wife Sandy and children. Garth had retired after 22 years just a few months before the storm. The family looked forward to starting a new chapter in Panama City, Florida. Instead, their home was destroyed. The Sinclairs were not alone. It's heartbreaking. I mean, it's been so many months. And there are so many places that haven't even been touched. And there are so many people hurting. I think that the worst part was the uncertainty, the, the what next. All of the questions that start to pile up in your mind, it just overwhelmed you. Every day it was, we don't know. And there were more questions every day. And the answers were still, we don't know. It's been tough. It's been really hard. To make things worse, the base where Garth worked as a government contractor was forced to close after the storm. Garth went without a paycheck for two months. Plus, their homeowner's insurance didn't cover nearly all their losses. The couple leaned on each other and their faith in God. I couldn't even get out of bed in the morning without the hope that, that my faith brings. God's got us. He's going to take care of us. We don't know what that's going to look like, that God's not going to let us fall. Garth and Sandy's prayers were answered when Bay Point Church in Panama City contacted CBN's Helping the Homefront for assistance. Hey guys. Hey. Pastor Ben Lyles invited the couple over to give them some good news. So the first thing that I, that I want to tell you is everything that's out of your pocket that the insurance didn't cover, we're going to be covering for you. Wow. Wow. Mm, that's like a huge burden lifted. <laughs> There's more. Due to the stress that your family has been under, we're also going to be uh, covering approximately two months of your loss of wages and the income that you had as a result of the hurricane. And we're gonna help you recover to kind of give you guys the ability to breathe. We want to provide you guys some margin in life. <sighs> it's just overwhelming. Uh, you know, we're just kind of struggle through this whole situation like everybody else and try not to be a burden to anybody else either, you know, in our struggle. 
it, it's gonna change our outlook. <sighs> it's gonna change our outlook. It's gonna help our family a lot. Work began immediately. Garth and Sandy were able to pay the contractors without going into debt. A few months later, their home was complete. This seems like the light at the end of the tunnel. It, it will definitely help us to move forward. A lot of the burden is, is behind us. All of those questions that, you know, the answer seemed to be, I don't know. And the answer is yes, we'll be okay. Thanks to CBN. Isn't it great to know that you and I can make a difference in the lives of our neighbors right here in the United States, not just people in third world countries who are struggling. You get to do both when you're a 700 Club member. You know, when you call now, your giving is going to go twice as far because we're in the middle of a challenge. That means every dollar you give is going to be matched dollar for dollar. Here's another way to stretch that. Use Pledge Express when you call. It's electronic monthly giving. You can stop it when you want. It saves us some administrative costs, so even more of your gift will touch the lives of people like like Garth and Sandy. Our way of saying thank you for using Pledge Express is to send you one of these every month. These are Power for Life teachings, and we're happy to share them with you, and we thank you for sharing your generosity and kindness with others. Gordon? Gail Reddick says if you're within 100 yards of her, she's going to share the gospel with you. Well, Gail may have underestimated her reach. She shared the gospel with people in faraway countries, all because of CBN's Superbook. Gail Redding considers herself an evangelist, always looking for ways to spread the gospel. If God sends somebody within a hundred yard radius, they are going to hear about the Lord. <laughs> Since the mid 70s, she and her husband Bob have partnered with the 700 Club. Around 2009, they first gave Superbook to their grandchildren. We'd share the Superbook with them and we'd sit and watch it ourselves. And we were so impressed by the professionalism of it. These are stories that you don't have to be a believer to get the message. I thought, goodness, I mean, these are good for adults because they carry a theme through and it's concise and it's simple, but it's fun. Gail even learned that Superbook was an excellent tool for sharing the gospel with adults and cross-culturally. I found out inadvertently that the uh, American distributed Superbooks also have Spanish. I thought, wow, this is terrific. ¿Qué quieres que haga por ti? <laughs> Mi Rabbi. They continued to share Superbook with neighbors. They even sent them overseas, hundreds to Cuba for an evangelist friend who passed them out to families everywhere. They took the Superbooks to almost every city in Cuba. And we got excellent feedback from them that the kids really liked it. Not just the kids, but the adults seemed to like it as well. I think if you can plant that seed in anyone, a child or adult, that will come to fruition because it's God's Word. From their family to their community to the world, Bob and Gail know they're spreading seeds of the gospel through handing out Superbook. You can be a part of sharing the stories of the Bible with the children of the world. We're now in over 50 languages. There's a broadcast map showing all the different places. We're also trying to load all those languages into the wonderful Superbook Bible app where you can see the episodes, you can read the Bible in your own language. We're trying to make this available for the children of the world, uh, for tablets, for smartphones, in addition to all the television broadcasts. You're part of all of that when you join the 700 Club. If you're not a member, join with us now, 1-800-700-7000, and say, yes, I want to be a part. Let's go to Wendy at the phones. Wendy? Gordon, uh, let me ask you, do you want more success in your job, your relationships, and even in your financial investments? We'll show you how to get all that and more in Pat Robertson's latest book, The Ten Laws for Success. A dynamic new book from Pat Robertson, 10 Laws for Success, Keys to Win in Work, Family, and Finance. I believe these laws can transform the nation, transform organizations, transform you and your family. Learn how to grow in your skills and talents, the connection between service and greatness, the incredible power of unity, and much more. Get Pat Robertson's 10 Laws for Success and start winning today. 
start winning today. You know, whether it's the law of use, the law of reciprocity, the law of greatness, the law of miracles, there's so many laws in here. But the best part is this is not man-made wisdom. These are the words of Jesus. This is all from the Bible. And Pat Robertson has done such a wonderful job of making it so clear and easy for all of us to understand. We want you to have it. And it's yours right now when you go to your phones and say, yes, I want to join the 700 Club. Gordon? All right, we've got some great news from California. CBN Partners adding $26,000, taking us to 124. Lord, we ask for blessing over this, and we ask for the increase that comes from you. Speak to your children, Lord, for we ask it all in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. 124,000 is the challenge amount. Boy, that red number, 48,000 with 11 minutes and 45 seconds. Call us right now and be a part of it. 1-800-700-7000. Terry? Well, Hope has lived at a children's home supported by Orphan's Promise her entire life. She was abandoned there in a box shortly after she was born. But don't feel sorry for this little girl. She is full of life, laughter, and love, and it's thanks to people just like you. Hope is a happy and adventurous young girl. I love exploring. Sometimes I go out to pick flowers and come home to share them with my friends. She lives at Brenda's Hope, a children's home supported by CBN's Orphan's Promise. When she was a baby, one of the older girls found her abandoned in a box just outside the home. Brenda has taken care of her ever since. I believe God sent her to me so I could be her mother. I watched her grow and heard her first words. She was nameless when we found her abandoned. I called her Hope. I believe her birth mother hoped her baby would have a better future with us than she could provide. This is my home. I know I am safe here. Mama Brenda takes care of me. I call her mommy because I know she will always love me. I am so happy to be here. Hope is one of 90 children who live at the home. We provide them with a place to stay, with food, clothes, education, and everything else they need. The most rewarding thing for me is to give each of them hope and to show them that God will always be with you. I want to grow up and be a good girl. I know God will always provide for me. I want to thank you for your help. Without you, none of this would be possible. Thank you, CBN, for loving us and for supporting us. Thank you for making it possible for us to come alongside Brenda in her very big job as a mother to 90 precious children who know they're loved by God and who are provided for every day. You've given them hope in the future. Gordon? All right, we're hearing from Atlanta, Michigan, a Thousand Club member saying, I'm going to 2500 yes. Club. And then we're also hearing from Michigan, Detroit, Michigan, $3,600. That takes that red number down to 30,000 with nine minutes on the clock. Be a part of it. Be a part of everything we're doing. Call us 1-800-700-7000. Well, Eleni took her two children and ran. She needed to find a safe place away from her abusive husband. But the only place she could afford was a dirty shanty with a single mattress. Eleni was only 20 when she escaped with her kids from a violent husband. It was a nightmare. One day he hit me so hard, he nearly killed me. He used to hit my daughter for no reason. Eleni moved hundreds of miles away, but it cost her everything. She moved into this shanty, which had no doors or locks, and she always struggled to pay the rent. The owner left a mattress for us. I was worried, though. I thought she might come and take it back and we would sleep on the floor. To make money, Eleni made coconut candies in borrowed pans on an open pit fire. I borrowed things, but sometimes people were afraid to lend them because they didn't know me. One woman gave me an old baby stroller to bring my baby along when I sold the candy. Eleni earned a little over a dollar a day and often blamed herself when her children went hungry. 
I knew it was all my fault. It wasn't fair for them to suffer because of the choice I'd made to marry their father. When Operation Blessing learned about her situation, we built her a new, secure house with a door and windows. Then we furnished it with tables and chairs and beds for everyone. This is the most amazing gift that I have ever received. Then we bought Eleni a new stove and other items needed, along with a new stroller cart for her to sell even more candy. Now that she no longer has to pay rent, Eleni has enough to support her family. I am so excited to have my own place. It's a great blessing. I thank God and thank you so much. That thank you goes to you. CB and partners are helping people around the world. And when we find people in difficulty, and Eleni was in a lot of difficulty, how can we help her? And not just a handout, but how do we give a hand up so that she can have a hope and a future, her children can have a hope and a future, you can have the dignity of earning your own income, earning your own way in life. But so many people just need help just getting to that point. And we want to be there for them. And we're there in your name when you're a member of the 700 Club. If you're not a member, join with us. Join in everything we're doing around the world. 1-800-700-7000. We've got 22,000 left on this challenge. And I'm taking the red number down. Cantonsville, Maryland. 1,000 Club member going to 2,500 Club. That takes us down to 18,000. Be a part of it. We want to go way over the top on this. Call us now, 1-800-700-7000. Terry? Well, I'd love for you to see the breadth of impact that you have as a 700 Club member. So let's go to India, where you can meet one widow who you answered a desperate pair prayer from. Jaspreet is a widow raising three children on her own. She earns a little money sewing, but she doesn't have her own machine. I borrow the machine from my neighbors to stitch, but when they are using it, they cannot lend it to me. So I'm left with no option but to stop working. When she wasn't sewing, Jaspree walked miles along rough roads to get water. The water would get worms in it when kept for long. My children drank that water and got very ill because of it. When my daughter got sick, I didn't even have money for her treatment. When Jaspreet's pastor told CBN about the lack of water in the village, we dug a well there. Now our whole village has clean drinking water. We use it for drinking, cooking, bathing, and washing clothes. We're very happy and grateful to God and to you. You helped us a lot. And when we found out about Jaspreet borrowing a sewing machine to work, we gave her a machine of her own. When I saw the sewing machine, I was overwhelmed. I'm so happy. I will work day and night to provide for my children. The Lord really heard my prayers and sent you as a messenger. I am very grateful to all the partners of CBN. You'll never meet Jespreet, but she knows who you are and she is beyond grateful. Thank you for touching her life. Wendy. Well, CBN programming can be seen around the world. When we first started nearly 60 years ago, we had trouble getting our signal around the block. So how did CBN become a global ministry? The answer is in Pat's latest book, The 10 Laws for Success. He founded one of the world's largest television ministries, established a leading university, and became a New York Times best-selling author. Now, Pat Robertson wants to share with you significant insights learned from a lifetime in the Word of God. In his latest book, 10 Laws for Success, Keys to Win in Work, Family, and Finance. Call now or go to CBN.com. It really is amazing when you think of all that's happened in the last 60 years. And so much of it is because of partners like you. I just got off the phone with Patsy from Alabama, and she's stepping out in faith to increase her pledge. Even though she and her husband are struggling, fin struggling financially, they still believe that God is going to bless them, and I know he is. Listen, God loves you, and he wants to bless you. Please go to your phones right now and say, yes, I want to partner with CBN. I want to be part of what God is doing all over the world. Gordon? Gordon? 
Well, in South Africa, an elderly woman struggled to feed her grandchildren. No one would give her a job because they said she was too old. So we gave her a business that she could run at home. When her daughter died, Anastasia was left to raise her two grandchildren alone. Every day, she struggled to provide for them. I am old, so no one will give me a job. I tried gardening, but everything died because we don't have much water here. Sometimes my grandchildren went to bed hungry. When CBN heard about her problems, we helped her start a business raising and selling chickens. You have helped me a lot. I can give my grandchildren good meals because of you. We no longer go to sleep hungry. She successfully run the business for more than a year now. I'm really grateful for what CBN has done for my grandchildren and me. Thank you. And that thank you goes to you. Because of you, we're able to do these wonderful things. We're doing it together. We're doing it in your name. You're a part of everything we do around the world. One portion of your gift goes into the work of Operation Blessing to help people, uh, not just handouts, but we want to give hand ups, the dignity that comes from being able to make your own way, to be able to earn a living, to be able to provide for your children, for your grandchildren. Uh, that's what we're all about. The, another portion goes into the work of CBN International. And what that group does is preach the gospel around the world. We go out, we have teams that are trained in regional centers to go out and get testimonies of what God is doing right there in their own country where they live. That Jesus is walking with them and when you pray to him, the answers that you see he gives to other people, he will give them to you. And so we have a host, a local host. These aren't dub programs from America. These are produced right there in country. That host leads them into a prayer to receive Jesus into their hearts. That is producing tremendous results. Literally, we're seeing uh, over a hundred million people say, yes, I've prayed to receive Jesus into my heart. You can be a part of that. You can be a part of evangelism. You can be a part of humanitarian relief. You can be a part of everything we're doing. We're counting down to victory. Ten seconds. We're going over the top. Oviedo, Florida, a thousand club member going to 3,000. Savina Park, Maryland, 2,700. Russellville, Arkansas, 2,500. Parker, Colorado, 2,500. I don't know if they can tally it all quickly, but we had a tremendous challenge, and against that, you gave. Yes, thank you. We leave you these words from Proverbs. A faithful man will abound with blessings. God bless you all. We'll see you again tomorrow.